Punk. Hello everyone, welcome back to our online tutorial series. Today we've got a bra from Beja London and I'm going to show you how to repair your bras uh, to breathe new life into them and make them last a lot longer. So as always, we're going to start off by going through our equipment. So the first thing we have is our trusty snips. As you all know, this is one of my staples of a repair kit. The next thing we have is a fine needle. Uh, for this type of job, a fine needle really is important. If you use a big thick one, one, it's going to be very difficult to go through the fabric and two, it can leave holes. So that's our needle. Thirdly, we've got our threads. Now, I had a bit of a nightmare to try and match the thread for this. Um, so I started off with this one, a nice turquoise. What was going through my mind, I really don't know. But as you can see, not the greatest of matches. So that one went to the side. I then thought about this one. Yeah, again, not a great colour match. Um, so then I was getting desperate and I thought, well, perhaps we'll go darker. Um, not too bad, but I really wasn't very happy with it. Um, I then chose this blue and again, I thought, mm, no, not good. So I finally lighted on this one. Um, and this is quite an old cotton reel, as you can see, it's got a cardboard inner, but when it matches what I need, I really don't mind how old it is. It's nice and strong, so it hasn't rotted, and it's an ideal match. So those were our cottons. Some of them were epic fails, and finally the one that did match. Um, as always, I like to bring you a little bit of a surprise. So we have a paper clip and I will come to that at the end. And then I'm going to show you how we can extend around the body of a bra. Now this is a really handy little tip. These can be purchased from any haberdashery or online and they're absolutely amazing. And they just give you that inch or two more if, you know, we've all done it, if we've put a little bit of weight on and the bra is pinching, but you love it, this is an ideal solution to that. So again, I will come to that at the very end. Now, there are three main high stress areas for a bra um, where if they're going to go and they will eventually this is what's going to happen so the first one as we all probably know is the underwire pokes out and how uncomfortable is that so with a few little stitches by hand i'm going to show you how to put that back in and stop it from coming out again. The second area is, it's happened to us all, we lose a hook or an eye, either one, but I'm going to show you how to replace the hook by hand again. And then finally on the repair side, um, we all know it happens, your strap comes undone so frustrating makes the renders the bra useless so i'm going to show you how to repair that as well 
So first off, I think we'll start on the underwire. So I've cheated and pre-thread my needle um, and I'm going to use single cotton because it's going to be a lot less tangly going through Lycra fabric can be a bit of a, an awkward one, especially if you're using double thread. So what I'd like you to do is push the wire back in and as you can see, there's the little stress point where it has shredded away and come out. So I've put a knot in my cotton and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in through that hole, pull the needle out and try to hide my knot inside that hole. And as you can see, that's gone in quite well. So then I'm going to bring, put the needle back in and bring it out back at the top of the hole like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a set of what I would call overstitches. So we go in at the top of the hole and come out below it. And obviously this is a little bit fiddly, uh, but it will be well worth it in the end. And what this will do is this will just seal the hole shut and stop your wire from poking back out because no matter how many times we push it out, if there's a hole there, that pesky little wire is going to find it. And we all know it just comes back out again, digs in, leaves a lovely red mark and is very uncomfortable. And in the end, if you don't repair it, you just get so frustrated with it that you end up getting rid of the bra. So as you can see, I've got a nice little bird's nest of a knot there. Um, just a little bit of patience just to untangle it. And unfortunately, when you're stitching with stretch fabric, I don't know why, but for some reason, it does have the tendency to knot your cotton. So again, There we go, a little bit of gentle patience and that knot will normally come out. So as you can see that hole is starting to close over and that's what we want. And with the great match of colour, it's very subtle indeed. And obviously we're working on the inside of the bra. So when you've finished, you shouldn't have any stitches showing on the outside at all. So it will be an unnoticeable repair. So that's the repair done to the wire now. As you can see, it didn't take very minute, many minutes at all. And that has gone in and it is in there to stay. And I'm really pushing on that. And that wire isn't coming out anytime soon. It's soft. There's no scratchy bits. 
so it's not going to irritate you and you would never know that it had been done especially not from the outside so the next thing we're going to do is move on to our hook now this is a great advocate for using a wash bag I have to say because what happens a lot of the time is these hooks when they're in the washing machine they got they get tangled and caught up with other garments and then when your wash is going through its cycle or going on a spin it pulls on these garments and that hook just gets misshapen and eventually weakened and it will come out so we are going to find a hook which I have here now this one it's the same colour, it is slightly bigger, but again, it's on the inside and it won't be noticeable. Now, where the hook has come out from, if I can take, this is a, a stitch ripper, but I'm just using it today just to show you that there's a little hole there. Now, that is where... The hook pulled out from so what we're going to do like she says is I'm going to try and fit that hook oh there we go it's just popped right in there like that look so that's gone back in where it came out from and again we're going to hand stitch by using tiny little over stitches but we're going to feel where the loops of the hook are which is down here and then we're going to stitch into those loops so that it secures it and stops it from coming out again so again we need our needle um, and I'm going to put a knot in it like so so when I knot I tend to wind around my finger a couple of times and then twist and pull and there you have a good knot so as always I'm going to go in through that hole feel where the loops of the hook are and come out down there again I'm going to try and hide that hole that knot in the hole which it's done quite successfully so match your hook so that it's at the same level as the other one and then feel with your feel it with your needle you'll feel the edge of the securing loop so then just outside of it put your needle in and come out through the loop and I want you to do that at least four or five times and what that's going to do is secure that hook thoroughly inside the bra whereas when the bra was made before this padded bit would have been put on the hook would have been put on first which is why you you don't see any stitches on a new bra so there we go we've gone through that side that is nice and secure now so one more stitch and then we're going to Put our needle in and bring it out to the other side of the other loop, like so. And I'll just twist it a bit. So then, as we can see, there is our other loop for the other side of the hook. And we're going to do exactly the same thing by going in through the loop and out.
and again at least four or five times just watching your finger because these needles are sharp as you are well aware and there we go this will be the last stitch so what we're going to do when we come to the last stitch leave a loop in your cotton and what I want you to do is pass your needle through that and that gives you a securing stitch my needle my cotton snapped there but actually that was a good place for it to happen because we got to the end of it so we're going to take our snips and what we're going to do as always is lay the snip onto the fabric gently and then just snip and that takes you nice and close without actually cutting the fabric and as you can see from the other side there are no stitches whatsoever to show that you've made a repair there and that hook is really nice and secure. So how quickly have we done that? Two repairs to a bra that really would have just been thrown away. So we've done our bra wire and we've done our hook, which has repaired two main parts of the bra. So the last one that we're going to come to is the strap. Now this hasn't come off completely, but you just know that if you try and persevere and wear it, that is just gonna go. So I'm going to show you a stitch that we call ladder stitch. Now what that entails is when you're using, you know, when you're doing it, you will go in one side, come out, go straight across to the other side. Do that all the way along the tear. And then when you get to the end, you just gradually and gently pull it closed and that will seal your fabric to each other with stitches, but won't actually show from the outside. So for this one, I'm going to use double thread because I actually want the strength. So here we go. I'm just going to make this into... double thread and again I'm going to do my knot so I wrap my cotton a couple of times around my finger rub my finger together like so and then pull and there's my knot and I think what we'll do we'll just trim that little tail off this time because that if we don't that will show so now we have a nice tidy knot once again we're going to go in and secure the knot inside the strap so that it's hidden so once you've put it through just tuck your knot down so now we're going to start our ladder stitch. So what we're going to do is take some of the fabric from one side and don't rush this one because it can lead to it not pulling closed properly. And then a piece directly opposite on the other side like so and gently because now remember we're working with double cotton so as you know that's double trouble so then we'll come along a millimeter or so go through the opposite side gently pull and don't worry about making it too tight at this stage 
and then directly opposite again. And gently pull. And what this forms is it tends to form a stitch that looks like the steps on a ladder. Again, one side and just gently pull it in and then directly opposite on the other side, like so. Now, you can see that's still quite loose. So then what I'm going to do is just very gently pull that and that then seals your stitches together, makes it nice and secure and from front and back it isn't noticeable. So that is just a little bit of cotton residue from where the strap snapped. So now we're going to snip our ends so that it's all nice and tidy and the same on this side. Now remember when you want your cotton to be cut really close, lay your snips onto the fabric and use the blade's width just to nip it in nice and close. So those are my three tips for repairing your bra. So as you can see, the bra now is back to being able to wear it with all of those little annoyances dealt with. Nice strong new clip on it. The underwire isn't coming out anytime soon and the strap has been repaired. None of which you would notice. So from the outside, you would never know that those have been repaired. Now, I have got a little tip to show you um, how you can quickly and easily make your own racer back with a paper clip and literally just very carefully you add one side of the bra strap to the paper clip like so and then bring that one over so that it's nice flat and then you do exactly the same thing to the other side but go in that way and there we have our very own quick and easy remedy for a racer back so that's one of my tips the other one is I have the extender. Now you can buy these, as I said, from any haberdashery online. What these will do is you can hand stitch them so they don't have to be done with the machine or anything. You can either do it under or over, whichever you prefer. If you do it over, you can use those two little clips there and you don't even have to stitch it actually. And what that will do, that will give you a couple of extra inches to, onto your bra. So even if you're like in the early stages of pregnancy and you don't want to get rid of your, your nice lingerie straight away, you can use these and this will make it more comfortable to go around your body. And then, if you need to, you can take them off like so, she says. They unclip from there. And your bra will go back to normal size. So, you know, I think it's a really handy thing to keep and just to have 
should the need ever arise. And believe me, they're so soft and comfortable. So that's my tutorial for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Beja London for this absolutely stunning, beautiful bra. I love the little niceties that they put on it. Again, if this comes unclipped, which it can do from washing or, you know, getting caught in something, a couple of little over stitches and you have that back on again. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye bye for now. Right.